What's going on, everybody? It's Matt, a.k.a. Lumberjack Landlord, here with our third and final segment for the day. And the only question is, did we save the best for last? It's quite possible, but the other two were pretty awesome. So please yeah. welcome Mike Zuber from One Rent for the Time. Mike, good afternoon to you, my sir. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, those first two episodes were awesome, right? The rich going on strike, how to get deals done. But this one is, is probably going to help people the most because it's it's... It's how to get into a deal, how to get sweat equity, how to get yeah. a bank to help you. It's it's uh, it's a pretty sexy topic, and I I've never talked about it, so uh, kudos to you. Oh, hey, happy to do it with you, Mike. I mean, there's nobody better to do this with, especially with all your students. So, guys, if you didn't pick up already on what Mike was talking about, we are talking about the magic of a 203k or 203k streamline. What's a 203k streamline? I know in life we have all these wonderful things. 401ks and 403bs and all these other lovely things that we always see these numbers around, uh, 10k statements. But this is very sexy stuff. Um, and there probably should be some good mute music here. We'll see if marketing puts that in. That's up to them. But we're talking about the 203k loans and the 203k streamlines that are available to you that are rehab loans through FHA. They are available to you guys. So Mike, give me 30,000 foot view in how somebody might kind of what this is and how somebody might use it. Yeah, well, well, here's the deal, right? So one of the things that a lot of people realize is that FHA is a pretty big funding source for owner occupants. Yes. And, and this is a loan product that's been around for decades. Yeah. And what, what people need to realize is FHA or, or the government or whatever you want to call that, they realize that most houses aren't perfect. And they want to help home ownership and realize that the people often turn to FHA with low down payment. So they had to a way to kind of square low down payment and fixer uppers. Because, okay, if you do a low down payment, three and a half or 5% down, and then you need 40 to remodel, you kind of squeeze a lot of people out. Right. So what they've done is they've really come about and done a two or three K loan. Um, so they could do a purchase owner rock low down and give them the excess to do the repairs. So uh, it's a pretty powerful program. Yeah, very powerful. So guys, Mike just gave it to you in a nutshell, but basically this 203k loan is, is FHA's way of funding some of the fixes that need to be made in the house. What's really cool about this is that it will usually go to 110% of the appraised value of the home. They'll basically give you that 10% to do these types of tasks in the house. So if it's a, you know, a porch that needs repair or a kitchen or something like that that you wanna to do to then build equity in the property, guys, this is a great way to take a house that largely isn't available via a normal FHA loan to actually go just a different route and start out going the right route because you're not gonna get a second bite at the apple, but going the appropriate route to start off with, with the 203K, which is again, 110% of the appraised price, or another product that they have that's much like it called the 203K Streamline Loan. The 203K Streamline, I believe is $35,000. And basically what you have to do is you get in there, you get all your contractors to give you prices and quotes, and they basically will fund the upfront 17.5 and <clears throat> pay them basically halfway through mm -hmm. their completion phase. And then on the back side of that, once you've completed all the projects, they have an FHA appraiser walk back through, verify that everything that was on the list gets done. And then they give that, you know, the next 17, five, which you then pay off all your contractors with. So this is a very valuable product for those of you who are looking at <clears throat> beginner or basic homes or trying to get that next step up into a house, recognize you're going to take it on, take it under with doing some projects first, but Mike, awesome, awesome way to build equity right out of the gate, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you take that loan product in a, in this market, it allows you to get into fixer uppers. You you can really do some amazing things. You got to get on the property letter. All I can think about is the two hundred three k loan yeah. with what I think is coming with first time owner off credits, right? The fifty k credit or twenty five k happens. It's it's going to be magical. And um, folks, you need to get ready. Uh, you know, you should get comfortable. You should look it up. But yeah, it's. It's a wonderful product. Anything that can help somebody get on the property ladder, I'm, I'm for. Yeah, absolutely. And it's putting you in a good position too, because it's going to be based largely on appraised value. So the government's not putting you in a bad spot into a house that's not going to be worth what it's worth when you actually have done that work. 
So it's really important. Look at these options, look at the 203K, look at the 203K streamline. They largely could be the difference of you getting into a home and hey, Mike, I know for us, we are really anti going in and buying a house that's 100% turnkey because you are paying retail plus for that, for that product. We always want to be doing work. We always want to be finding projects that need to be done because we know that's where we create equity for ourselves and for our business and then can pass that value on to a future renter because we know that they're going to love the place because for them it's turnkey, but let the renter be looking for turnkey, not you as the buyer looking for turnkey. Right, Mike? Yeah, absolutely. It's where the value is made, right? You know, if you can find a deal that needs a little, a little love and it's, you just never know what it, what it is. I mean, I remember walking into a house one time that had these accent walls that made it look like a rainbow. I mean, like every room was a different bright color. Uh, and then the, and then the carpet was just, let's just call it well used, you know, for a guy like us, that's five to 8k depending. Uh, but most people just got turned off. I mean, it was visually, it visually hurt my eyes. The paint was so bright. Uh, I don't know why anybody would try to list that house. It's crazy. Yeah, I bought a house with a mural once and it wasn't a good mural. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, gotta put some, just got to paint over that. Yeah. yeah, well, literally I looked at that and I was like, well, here's the thing. They had used such thick amounts of paint. I literally had to resheet rock it. <laughs> oh my God, that's a it, lot of paint. Yeah, it was so thick thick the way that they had painted it on there it was so bad and the worst part was it was on plaster walls so i was like oh mm. so lathe board plaster all that joy that came with it we just had to pull it all off resheet rock the entire room because the mural the paint was so unbelievably thick on it with however they painted it on it was i think they might have done it with like outside paint and like a and like an artist paintbrush like man it was caked <laughs> So yeah, joys, the, the joys of uh, landlording, but Mike, uh, thanks so much. What Crazy are your times. thoughts on any other, any other ideas on the 203 K and the streamlines? No, I, and I think people sitting there being renters or maybe living with mom and dad, I think, again, this is about getting on the property or whether it's house hacking or a 203 K loan, it's all good. Yeah. Get creative, do your, get ready and get on the property ladder. I think you'll be happy. This gives you more inventory to choose from because the nice stuff flies fast. That's where you're getting into the 40 offer deals. Even the next tier down that, you know, is might, might be just like a little bit dated. You're still going to see competition on those deals, but on the deals that need a, you know, some work, so long as they have a working heating system, refrigerator and stove, largely you're going to be good and they're going to qualify this on a 203k streamline obviously talking or a 203k period uh rehab loan obviously talk to your mortgage broker because they obviously know more about these products than i do but i've used these a number of times they worked awesome and like i said like mike and always talk mike and i always talk about you want the least competition on that deal that you're looking into and this likely will put you in the position on a given property that's not going to have as much competition because your competition for buying that deal might not know about the 203K. And even if they do, might not be willing to do any of that work. So this is a big value and large opportunity to get you in front of other people um, and get you into a property that others might not even consider. So Mike, thanks so much for all the time today. Look forward to connecting with you again next week. Mike, how can we all find you? Go to Google, type in one rental at a time. I should be easy to find. He is easy to find. And so please, we spend a lot of time putting this content together for you, coming up with ideas of things that we think are going to be important to folks. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hopefully marketing will put something at the end of my finger right here that hits subscribe. But guys, thanks so much for the time. We look forward to hearing your stories mm -hmm. and having you guys comment on this stuff. And we'll certainly get back to you. Mike, thanks so much. Have a great week. We'll talk soon.